Hey guys, it's Joe from Hey That's Pretty Cool. Today we're going to take a look at the Legacy Green Ranger. Here's the box. Window box packaging. Right here. It says Legacy Collection Green Ranger. It's got lightning bolts all over it in green. Power Rangers logo, Mighty Morphin Power Ranger logo on the top, and on the bottom, picture of the Green Ranger holding the Dragon Dagger in flute mode. On the back, you get a look at the Build-A-Figure that the other five Rangers come with, a piece to build the Dino Megazord. These are also the other Rangers in Wave 1. They have Red Mighty Morphin, Green Mighty Morphin, Red... Ninja Wind Ranger, Blue Ninja Wind Ranger, and Yellow Ninja Wind Ranger. Now for the packaging, let's take a look at what's inside. Do you want to mention two exclusive accessories? We'll start off with the figure himself. There you have it. Green Ranger. Let's take a look at uh, his accessories and then we'll go over articulation. First accessory, you get the holster for the Dragon Dagger, which, if you lift up his arm, there's a hole right here, pegs in, just like that. Set him off to the side for a second, you got the Dragon Dagger, fully painted and perfect sculpt. Look at that. You even got the dragon coin on there. All the little flute pieces. Awesome. That can be holstered. Right there. Next, along with the dragon dagger, comes set of hands for holding the dragon dagger in flute position I will not be interchanging my hands because I don't feel comfortable doing that because I know some things from Bandai snap last accessory the sword of darkness for all those who prefer their green ranger evil We have never gotten this in America. It is made out of a very gummy plastic, or actually it might be just straight rubber. <laughs> but, nice paint, great sculpt, looks almost exactly the way it did in the show, minus it's missing a little red tassel at the end, but who cares about that, right? Now let's go over the articulation. First. Head turns all the way around. He can look up. He can look all the way down. It's pretty great, just for the head. Next, you got your shoulders. Which, his shoulder articulation is limited by his dragon shield. Shoulders go all the way up. And can come all the way back around. On both arms. Then, on each arm, there is a bi swivel right above the gold band. Elbow articulation. Then there's a swivel right here at the cuff of the gum, the cuff of the glove. Then you have the little ball joint right there. Can turn 
the hand all the way around, inward, outward, back and forth. Then here you have an ab crunch, you can look way up or way down. Also, you have a waist swivel. It's nothing beyond natural human waist swiveling. So, it doesn't cut up the design or anything. Moving on to the legs, you have a thigh swivel right at just beneath the hip. Same thing on both sides. Double jointed knees, so you can. Bend his leg all the way back, all the way out. He does have a swivel at the boot cut, at the gold band. Ankle rocker, moves up and down, and slightly side to side. He can do the splits. He can stand him on one leg. In a kicking position. For some reason my Green Ranger does not want to stand right now, but there we go. Got him. Down he goes. As far as sculpt. His helmet is almost show accurate. The only thing that isn't is the fact that they did not color the teeth on his helmet around his visor silver. But they got the little red gem, mouthpiece, great sculpt, perfect paint. Dragon Shield looks perfect, minus they didn't get these little tiny things at each four points of the diamond. Black. Hey, at least they outlined it. His morpher, fully painted and perfect sculpt. You can even see the dragon coin on the back. Belt, fully done. I will point out that this dragon shield is not removable like the 93 or any other version of the Green Ranger. It is part of the sculpt, as are these right here. Well, let's get him into a cool pose. Take your Sword of Darkness, place it into his hand, take your Dragon Dagger, put it in his other hand, There you have it. Pretty much any fighting pose you can imagine, you can get the legacy figures in. Now the box does say ages 4 and up. I would not recommend buying this for a child. In fact, in my opinion, like all the other legacy items, this should have been put at 15 plus because this is not an action figure you're going to buy for a kid. This is something you're going to get for a collector. I will be doing a review of black, pink, blue, red when he arrives, yellow and white have not been released yet, but when they arrive, I will be doing a review of all of them at once.
Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Joe from Hey That's Pretty Cool. Don't forget to hit the like, comment, share, and subscribe for more videos. Have a nice evening.